Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Kieran and welcome back to From Kieran and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to achieve the super cool chrome text effect within Photoshop. So I'm all about finding some super cool fonts all the time. I'm always looking on like font websites and Google and just stuff like that. And I found this super, super cool one. Um, it's called Colchester Black. I'll leave the link um, to download it in the description if I can find it. Um, I just really like it because of the super cool details that are inside the capital letters within the font. Um, and it's like a medieval sort of style one. So I feel like it sort of fit best to do with a chrome sort of effect. So you want to start off by double clicking on the text layer to bring up this layer style sort of panel. You want to click bevel emboss and as you can see it's already sort of done it for me because I've already got the settings ready. Um, but the things you need to do is click on the gloss contour one and you want the one that I've got here so it's like the sort of big sort of uh, narrow curve them. So you want to click on that and then there's also loads of other stuff you can do with the highlights and the shadows in the shading tab um, as well as play around with the direction of the light comes from um, which is also rather useful and pretty pretty cool too. So as you can see um, this chrome effect just looks amazing with this font like I highly 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 recommend it it just makes a super cool effect with all the little details on the inside of the capital letters um, and the medieval sort of thing that's cool as well. So in the structure tab um, you can play around with the depth sort of make it a bit sharper and stuff like that and like um, give it a bit more depth like, like, like it says on the, uh, on, the, on the can but when I play around with the size and I'm turning the size down you can see it sort of opens up like this white gap um, but you can play around with the colour of that obviously in your shading and stuff to make it look better. But yeah, that's literally it for this tutorial. There's not much else to go over other than just to tell you guys to explore and sort of try out things to get the style and sort of effect that you sort of like um, and want to achieve. Um, this is just a basic chrome effect and it just looks super cool with this font anyway. Uh, I keep on talking about this font. But another thing I'd do is just create a new layer as a clipping mask. Um, and I've got a few brushes that, um, from a chaos pack that are like uh, splatters, paint splatters almost. Um, so I'm sure you could find one similar. But yeah, all I do on the clipping mask layer is just paint on with the splatters to sort of give this sort of like blood splatter effect. And that's just a cool little thing you can do with the chrome text and what I've done before. Um, but yeah, as I should not much else this video other than for me just to say um thanks for the support recently it's been absolutely amazing don't forget to follow me on instagram for daily uh, covers uh and yeah there's not much else to say other than i'll see you guys in the next one